Okay, so what I was trying to say in the video yesterday is this center screen here got the home trip leg and then you got this screen that's got speed, digital speedometer, and uh, driving assistance. This is the lane keeping system and the adaptive cruise control. Okay. This one you can adjust the engine idle, oil temperature, the DPF, soot load, and that's also how you start the regen. There's no button over here for the regen. Nothing. Not a nada. Anyways, uh, that's your differential locks and shit. Um, see? Now the inner axle, the inner axle, uh, diff lock is locked in. Now it's not. So, and then there's the engine idle again. This screen is DTCs, then diagnostics, there's a shit ton of them in there, I ain't going through them all. And then hours, engine hours. And then this screen is for the radio. Um, it's actually on weather band for some reason. There's FM1. Come on. 93.5. I don't know where the hell that's at. Let's do that one. Down, down. There we go. Essential always. Do you want to shop local and still shop the best in But when you hook your phone up, it shows the phone on there. And who's calling and shit. That's cool. And then that's the audio. If I turn the audio on, see, FM 95.9. Pretty cool, huh? So we'll shut that off. And this screen is your settings. This is where you can change the dash brightness and all that business. Turn the dash brightness up. And entrance and exit lighting. All that business. And of course, units, time, language, custom gauges, safety systems, traffic sign display. That's pretty cool because it'll tell you the uh, uh, speed limit of the road you're on and then the alarm clock. It's pretty neat. Like I said, I wouldn't want to own it because that thing breaks and buddy I'm gonna tell you what I can only imagine but uh, got air pressure there's two needles there they're the exact same spot but you can see them there's one blue and one white and then the def gauge is in with the fuel gauge now and then tack and oil pressure and water temperature so and the jakes are on this stick right here. Stage one, stage two, stage three. Interesting. Uh, down here, sleeper dome, footwell, dome light, four ways, utility lamp or light, automatic traction control to shut it off and allow the truck to spin. This is the lane departure warning system. You can shut it off. It only stays off for a little while and it comes back on automatically. Hill start assist, which is fucking awesome. I love hill start assist. I wish they had that on standards too. It makes life a lot easier. Engine fan, then my PTO, and then suspension height, fifth wheel slide, diff lock. And this thing, when you back under a trailer that's dropped too high, you're supposed to be able to push that button and it'll raise the air. It's actually doing it right now. Check it out. You hit it again and it lowers it back down. It raises it two inches to pick the trailer up off the ground. So it's not so hard to crank trailers up. Oh, and here's drive, reverse, manual auto, manual shifting not enabled. Whatever, I don't care. These control that screen. Uh, the back arrow, up, down, left, right, okay. This controls the radio volume. If it was on, it would control the radio volume. Uh, hang up, pick up. If you got your phone hooked into the radio, because it's a Bluetooth radio, uh, cruise control, headlight interrupter, marker light, and this, push that, and that's your idle adjust. 
it doesn't work on the uh, cruise anymore. They have a, a separate spot for that. Um, hit this button to get back out of that. But they have a separate spot for that now, which is kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. I don't really care for that. Um, but anyway, Johnny Valve is back. Um, my other Cascadia that I drove didn't have a Johnny Valve. People net. I came in here and cleaned up earlier. Of course, the air cleaner thing. Um, the radio, it's got Sirius XM, weather band, Bluetooth, CD player, uh, and AM FM. And then the uh, USB port and the 3.5mm jack if you want to plug into there. So that's the truck. At least I have a passenger seat this time, which is kind of nice. The other truck didn't have a passenger seat. Lots of storage in the new ones. There's two cubby holes. There's one cubby hole here, and one cubby hole here. I got my clipboard in there, and then there's a big cubby up there. Goes all the way down and all the way back. There's cubbies up here and over there, and then there's cubbies in the bunk, and then cubbies over here. Um, that's a place to put refrigerator. There's 12 volts right there. The TV hangers in the back corner back there. Um, yeah, this big thing up here, this is Detroit Assurance on it. I, I'm pretty sure that's part of the lane departure system. And I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know a lot about this truck, to be honest with you. Um, automatic down windows, I do know that. So, that's about all I know about this truck so far. Don't know much anything else about it. So that's that.